good is this budding featherweight contender, if not future world champion, Mavsar Evloyev. He has passed every UFC test, largely with flying colors. Hasn't really shown anything resembling an MMA weakness. His appetite for knowledge is otherworldly. He is honing his skills every day at the American Top Team in South Florida. And if you can keep your O and win while you learn, as he did against Diego Lopez when he was challenged and threatened and nearly finished several times over, that's about as good as it gets. So Mavsari Evloyev spins it forward here tonight. Many people believe if he wins this fight, his next fight, if not for a world title, will at the very least be a title eliminator in a UFC main event. I mean, come on, DC. Mike Tyson with this DMX intro backdrop. I'm anxious as if I'm fighting. This is a huge moment for the history of mixed martial arts and for the International Boxing Hall of Famer, Mike Tyson. It all works together. It really just all works together whenever you watch Mike Tyson from the song to the, the look to the bobbing of the head to the posse. Iron Mike Tyson is just one of those guys that draws you in, and he is bringing a lot of new eyes to the UFC octagon. He can wrestle a little bit too, John, so don't be surprised if on the first shot, Mike Tyson hits him with the big sprawl to defend his leg. Only thing I can guarantee you, he's not going to be taking any bites of cauliflower ear <laughs> in the octagon tonight. We're certainly happy to have Mike Tyson. Let's see how it goes. The baddest man on the planet, Mike Tyson ready to engage in another high-profile matchup here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Mozart and Lawyer. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight. Champion of the world, Mike Tyson! Herb Dean, our referee for this one. You ready? Good. All right, so here he is, Iron Mike Tyson, formerly the baddest man on the planet. You know the flurry is coming. He'll throw uppercuts and hooks, use that signature peekaboo style, and get inside. On the other side, look for his opponent to try to take him down and neutralize the striking game of Mike Tyson. If you can't get him to the canvas, you're likely in for a short night at the office. Great commitment to the kicking game. It, that one didn't land to the head. The hook shot blocked by Tyson. Big power shot there. Relax, relax. Misses with the left hook. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. Can't take so many upside the head. Somebody's going to sleep. All right, good side roll for the boxer to land on the uppercut. You can expect the wrestler to start to chain takedowns, but hard to get that done when you got that uppercut in your face. Well, that wrestler better start to create some anger because every time he comes close now, he will see something showing up the middle. It can be knees, but I think that uppercut that he just landed is much safer because it keeps you away. It keeps your hips back so the wrestler can't try to take you down. 
these boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. That left hook was crazy. Well, there's a takedown attempt. Oh, big left hook there. And he blocks the shot there. Right on the button. Well, this striker has come out swinging early, and you know his style is based on aggression, and largely it's worked out for him too. It worked out phenomenal for this point. He's fighting, and he's fighting exactly as he needs to if he wants to win this fight. Well, well, he's had his striking on point tonight, and as evidence, some swelling now on his opponent. Yeah, light swelling right now. But if he doesn't address it immediately, it'll turn to something much worse. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Nice play. Just misses with the straight right. Just over two minutes to go. Nice job on the counter there. And this is really a tried and true counter striker who will try to use the over-aggressiveness of his opponents against them, and that's exactly what he did there to the great effect. Well, his wrestling has been a great equalizer thus far in his UFC career, and gets the single leg takedown. And you know that it's his shot. It's his shot of choice, a single leg takedown, and he's securing it, and he's doing it and scoring it over and over again. Oh, nice right hand. Nice right hand. Yeah. yeah. Yaboya gets up, he is back on the feet here. Both guys appear to land there. Oh, and there's a kick now to the body. That one blocked by Tyson. Yeah, he wants to draw his opponent in here, looking to set up another counter, but he wants his opponent to strike first. Under a minute to go. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Beautiful entry as he gets the takedown late in the round, too, which could have an impact on the judges, potentially. Absolutely. You want to leave an impression in the judges' mind. And when you walk back to your corner, when you get up from a dominant position, you almost want to wave at the judges and say, I got it right. Right, right. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Tyson. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. Oh, almost like he saw the skin swell right away after he landed that strike. So that trainer's gonna have to bring in the end swell to try to deal with the swelling because this guy is getting pieced up. Oh, wow, two is next. Oh. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. Ready to fight. Ready. Go. All right. Round two. All right, next round is now underway. Do you see any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the outcomes. Even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Turning his hip over into the leg kick. Oh, big elbow. Doing a real nice job with these leg kicks, trying to slow his opponent. Oh, He's in a lot of trouble now. Feels like the beginning of the end. Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. 
Yeah, boys. In half floor. All right, so the hands are crispy tonight. Not exactly what we thought we would see out of this wrestler, but as a former two-time U.S. Olympian yourself, with some hands, you can fall in love with him. He can fall in love with the striking. He is showing tonight that everything starts with his wrestling. He gives you the level change, which then in turn helps him land in the striking. He looks fantastic. I did not expect him to look this good in the boxing tonight. Oh, nice flip there and a beautiful counter. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Another kick on that. Tyson gets up. He is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Oh, that jab alerted his opponent. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the top. And he's still standing after taking such a damaging shot. Nice counter jab up top by Ivoyev. Oh, another brutal jab. If you like boxing and you appreciate the sweet science, his jab is as good as it gets. Yeah, he's the best pure boxer in MMA. He's one of those guys that if he needed to go into a boxing arena, he could still be competitive. It all starts behind that beautiful jab. And again, rinse and repeat, targeting that swelling, and you got to think this is going to start to affect his performance now. Yeah, it, it's at a point now, John, where... He's going to start to get desperate. He's going to start to make some mistakes because this swelling is not just minor anymore. We're starting to get into the major territory. All right, it's a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Just missing on the uppercut there. That's a beautiful body kick. Well, until his opponent adjusts, you might as well keep... Oh! Heard him again. Oh! Ooh, diving punch lands. Oh, another huge ground strike landed That's by him there. Not again! Oh, my goodness! With a huge win tonight! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Just a relentless effort out of this fighter here tonight. The ref had no choice but to step in, and that is how you leave the judges out of it. All right, here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 36 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Well, who would have thought that the former boxing